14 of the fantasy football season. And here's a few quarterbacks I would drop this week. The first guy, Tua Taiwa Voglia of the Miami Dolphins. So Tua, he's so shown some flashes this season here. But he really hasn't had that monster game since week 7 versus the Falcons. So right now, this week, he's going on bye week in week 14. And there's no reason to stash him. I know week 15, he's got a great matchup versus the New York Jets. But obviously, he's not a top-tier quarterback where he's a must-owned and must-hold guy this week here to us. So the last few games for him, a week 11 at the Jets, 273 pass yards, two touchdowns in it, though. Week 12 versus Carolina, 230 pass yards, a touchdown. And week 13 versus the New York Giants, 244 pass yards, two touchdowns. So right here this week, he's not a guy to hold, like I mentioned. He still owned him 41% of fantasy leagues. But after this week, I would go out there and probably revisit him as a pickup for the week being, though, know, a big game in week 14 for many fantasy owners where you need any any guy available that you could have. He's an easy drop, in my opinion. This week is still with the next quarterback's another one on by this week, and that's Carson Wentz of the Indianapolis Colts. So Carson Wentz, his numbers over the last four weeks haven't really been out of control and big numbers for fantasy owners. Week 10 versus Jacksonville in that one, 180 pass yards. Week 11 at Buffalo, 106 pass yards, a touchdown, 18 rushing yards. Week 12 versus Tampa Bay, 306 pass yards, three touchdowns, two went those in a fumble loss with 20 yards rushing. And then week 13 at Houston, 158 pass yards and a touchdown. So right here, he's been more of a game manager and a guy not really turning the ball over here is Carson Wentz for this Indianapolis Colt team. And he's only got one fantasy game in the last month where he's had 15 or more fantasy points. So right now, they're run first team over there obviously in Indianapolis and now with the bye week he's an easy quarterback to drop and he's got tough matchups coming up as well in week 15 versus New England and week 16 at Arizona and the third and final quarterback I would drop this week so Matt Ryan of the Atlanta Falcons so Matty Ice I've mentioned him as a drop a lot this season and the last month of the season he's pretty much done nothing for fantasy owners week 10 at Dallas 117 pass yards to win those week 11 Versus the Patriots, 153 passing, two went those. Week 12 at Jacksonville, 190 passing, a touchdown in an in though. And week 13 versus Tampa Bay, pretty decent game, 297 pass yards, but no touchdown and two yards rushing. So week 14, a tough matchup on paper for Matt Ryan at the Carolina Panthers that give up the fifth least amount of fantasy points to quarterbacks on the season. So right now with the inconsistent numbers, him barely cracking double digits in fantasy leagues. He's an easy quarterback to get away from and drop this week. So that's a few QBs I would drop in the crucial week 14 of a fantasy football season.